Okay, everybody, what do we have here? Um, I'm actually doing something kind of interesting. So I decided that I wanted to shoot the hill class at the TAS Worlds at the end of the month in Memorial Day weekend. All right, but here's the problem. I don't own an ASL currently. Uh, I have one on order, it's just not gonna be built in time. So what do I do? I started looking around for stock bows, found one. Jim Belcher had an amazing bow uh, in my spec. It showed up today. Today is May 8th. So this is the first time I've laid eyes on this bow. Uh, just today, after work, I unboxed the bow. I attached my quiver, which I want to get to in just a minute. And I made a string for it. Um, note to self, uh, Jim's bows run true AMO spec, not a half inch longer like most long bows. So um, after a little uh, redo on the string, I've got a string on it. And... I just want to show it to you guys. I mean, I'm going to show you the stuff I'm excited about and hopefully you guys can kind of follow me on my journey through video here of me in less than a month's time setting up, uh, learning and competing in the hill class at the TAS Worlds as the culmination of this video. So we'll see how I do. A guy who's used to competition longbows and recurves and well of course hunting bows but i mean i shoot like either a tolki 10x 68 inch competition longbow or i shoot um, a 62 inch widow pma uh, so those are both targety bows for most of you guys uh, i do own you know tolki whips and other kinds of hunting style bows but you know 99 percent of the time i'm shooting with target bows because that's what i love love shooting these foam animals and uh that's what i do so here we go let's check this bow out specs 66 inch 47 at 28 jim belcher bivouac biovac Buovac. I don't I don't know guys. I don't know how to say it. I'm, I'm really sorry, Jim. Uh, I, I have never heard uh, I actually heard on your voicemails how you pronounce it, but I've forgotten um, Biovac, Bivouac, uh, Bow Company. Uh, we got Osage Riser. Glossy finish. It's glossy, but honestly, like I know the video is putting a lot of shine on it, but like I would hunt with this. Um, it's it's the right kind of glossy for the woods even. So uh, walnut limbs. So far very smooth. Even though I know uh, ASLs need to be broken in. Already very smooth in the first few pulls. Um, got a nice gray uh, leather wrap here. Uh, shelf looks really nice. Not not a big shelf, but flat and good. Um, little these are tapered so it's narrower on the back side than the front i think that's a hill design this is a 50 style hill versus a schultz style hill which is why jim calls that the hill jack he makes a union jack which is more of a schultz hill style but this is the somewhat uh more um well, how would you say authentic version uh it has to do with how the riser is attached to the limbs i think when everything is in the back like this that makes it a more 50s style hill so that's kind of an interesting fact um find out more talk to jim so let's let's get to oh green glass on the front i don't know if you can see that it just kind of looks dark almost black in the video but it is an od green glass there we go maybe you can see it beautiful uh shiny semi-gloss finish um i'm gonna flip this bow over and i'm gonna talk about something else that's really super cool here uh, Donnie Wilkerson, Creek Walker Trading, okay? Uh, Donnie actually made this for my other ASL, but I'm going to use it on this bow because, like I said, I'm going to shoot this bow at the end of the month. And this is also a green quiver hood with the Triple T logo, which is super cool. Got Donnie's logo there next to ours. Uh, Donnie made this for me with, uh, I, I requested spalted maple, um, and that is because my other bow I have on order is going to have spalted maple under clear glass on the belly side. So, this again, this quiver was made to match my other, my other bow, but it looks beautiful on this bow also. Um, and yeah, so it's kind of this interesting wood design that it flares out so that your hand, when it goes in the grip, clears everything. Uh, and yeah, so, and I've got, and I've, and I've ordered 
some finished woods, which normally I make my own. But again, I got about three weeks here to get prepared for this. And so these are Wapiti Cedars. Um, finished, haven't straightened them, haven't even put tips on them yet. Uh, these are the 5055s. I have some other ones in case these don't quite spine out, but uh, I got a dozen of these. I'm hoping these are the ones. Uh, so I slid them in the quiver. Uh, like I said, they're just sitting there. Haven't even poked holes in the quiver. They don't have points on them or anything. I've just got everything in today. Uh, I've had the quiver a few days, but I, and the arrows a few days, but I got that bow in today, and I made the triple T string after work to sort of match everything. Got the got the Osage in there, got the greens, a little silver for the grip, uh, and yeah, she's she's looking good. So uh, balance, guys. I was worried because I am not really a bow quiver guy truly honestly not a bow quiver guy um uh, i probably have 10 downstairs that are totally unused and this thing when i hold it right at one o'clock which one to one thirty is about where you want to hold a hill style anyway for the you know generally speaking i guess it feels amazing like the balance is incredible the the quiver is super light and so and the way it holds tight to the bow i mean look at that it it's perfect so this is also something about this quiver it's sort of a new iteration that donnie's doing um it's longer from hood to the gripper than his normal design and so you may see pictures of older designs where the gripper seems to be grabbing the arrows about here and you have all this arrow hanging down this new design is longer and what he's done with that, it's sort of a prototype stage, I guess, but uh, it's it keeps the arrows from rattling as much when you shoot. So there's less noise when you shoot the, with the quiver on. Uh, I thought that was a great idea. I said, yeah, I'd love to try it. So he did that for me. And again, don't even have serving on my string yet. I had to make this video to show everybody. So I'm just out here excited as I can be and I'm looking forward to getting into this hill bow thing and seeing what it's all about. But uh, here she is. So this will be video one. Um, I'll make another video once I have some initial impressions. Uh, probably, uh, heck, I might even, when I get ready to tune, I might do sort of a, hey, here's how I, because everything has to be done fast. And we don't need to take all day setting up a bunch of, you know tuning apparatuses i'm going to show you guys how i tune a bow in 30 minutes or less so uh maybe that'll be the next video okay so i'm going to get some serving on this bow tonight uh make sure my knot clip is perfection and uh, one night this week i will get it out here and we will put a tune on it uh or at least start a tune i'll probably have to like put an arrow point on and give it a try full length and then we'll cut a little and see where we're at all right so yeah jim belcher hill jack creek walker trading donnie wilkerson we'll see how we do thanks guys